dangerous, evasive, intelligent, passionate, confident, difficult to knock off the puck, and a scorer of devastating goals. Those are all qualities that the Canadian press has attributed not only to Sidney Crosby, the world's most famous hockey player, but also to Boston University's Marie-Philippe Paulin. She's only 20 years old, but she's a hockey prodigy, already considered one of the best female hockey players in the world. I think the long and short of it is Marie-Philippe has a, a place in uh, not only at Boston University but with the national programs. Uh, without a doubt, I see the 2014 Olympics in her uh, immediate future. The 2014 Games may be in Poland's future, but she already has a gold medal and Olympic glory in her past. She was only 18 years old in 2010, but Marie-Philippe Polin scored both of Team Canada's goals to lead her country to a gold medal victory over the United States. I just wanted the gold medal around my neck and no matter how it happens, but just the fact that it happens and my first experience I think is just awesome and I still like have shivers just to think about it and just to be in your own country and how it happens I think it was pretty awesome. Gatorade advertisements followed Olympic glory and Poland, a native of Quebec, had the chance to show off her French. But shortly thereafter, she was off to college at Boston University, where she quickly had to pick up a new language. But now I'm getting better. I think it's uh, like all my roommates are in English, and just to talk with them, I think it's pretty easy, and getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> and while her English speaking has progressed, Poland has not skipped a beat on the ice. Just over a year after leading Team Canada to Olympic gold in Vancouver, she was at the front of Boston's 2011 charge into the NCAA Frozen Four and the national championship game. All year long, we've been working as a team and we became a family and I think we saw that all year long this year. We've been building from practice to game and I think that's what happened. I'm really happy about that. And now we're all like big sisters and I think we can show it on the ice. Marie-Philippe Paulin will spend three more seasons playing in this city, and the Terriers count it as a blessing for their program. Besides being an amazing hockey player, she's just a great person and a great roommate. She's probably one of the most selfless players I've ever played with. Um, for the amount of talent she has, she'll always pass before shooting, and that's a great quality. Hopefully it keeps staying on the Hockey Canada program and for sure my dream is another Olympics in 2014 so hopefully we'll get there and until there we'll keep working hard and have fun here at BU. During my chance to sit down and talk with Polin, I couldn't help but notice her drive to always credit her teammates first. It's this selfless energy combined with a once in a generation talent that has hockey enthusiasts all around the world excited that they are seeing the next big star in women's hockey. For Ryan News Service and Caroline Stewart, this is David Lombardi reporting from Boston.